Hi, my name is Eddie Jackson Jr. and this is Real True Street Crime. I got to continue where I was, where I left off. I need you all to know and look at what's going on out here in America. You have a president that's talking about sicking the National Guard on people, on the American public. You have police officers right now. They didn't shot Ali Belcher, a CNN reporter. They trying, the police officers are trying to get all the reporters and the cameras out the way so they can hurt the flock. They are trying to hurt all these white folks and black folks to get white folks from out here protesting with black folks. Pay attention to what is going on. The police officers are a part of it. It is their fault that all of this is going on. They do not know how to handle it, and they are turning their aggressions on the American people. We cannot have this, Brother Al. We cannot have the police turning their aggressions on priests, peaceful protesters. That needs to be against the law. Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump is trying to kill as many American people as he can. It was him and Putin's plan from the beginning, and I don't give a damn what nobody say. All of this whispering, all of this secretive shit has been for this shit here. And let me let you all know, it is more important that every one of us get out and vote. And I mean white folks, look at this. Mitch McConnell, Jim Jordan, Devin Nunes, Paul Ryan, and, and the other Paul, whatever his name is, Ryan didn't retire. But all of these people need to be out of power because they could have impeached this president and they wouldn't even hold hearings. Look at the sham they put down before all of this started. Pence would have been a better choice to be president throughout this pandemic epidemic than Donald J. Trump, Benedict Arnold, Donald J. Trump. Pence would have been a better choice and the Republican Party should have removed Donald Trump and we as the American people cannot forget that in Kentucky. We cannot forget what Mitch McConnell, Jim Jacobs, Devin Nunes, and the entire Republican Party, even the lady that's talking about she's a Paul and trying to speak out now, she would not have him questioned and she would not have any people bought into the hearings. So she, Susan, whatever her name is, Susan, whatever her name, should be voted out of power. Now she's upset after it's over 100,000 American people dead for no reason because of an irresponsible president sitting in the people's house. Now he has floped off the people's house and put the ugliest fence and brick barriers around the people's house as if it's one of his properties one of his possessions. The White House is not Donald Trump's possession, nor is it his property. It is the American people's house. It is the American people's property. And y'all let this man, from the time he has entered in, I want to say something else. Robert Mueller, you a piece of shit. What you did to my father and to see what you let happen to this country. You wouldn't even ask that son of a bitch a question. And he has fucked the whole world up. Robert Mueller, you are a piece of shit forever. You are responsible. The whole entire Republican Party is responsible. And if you white folks want to do something to help us black folks, vote these white Republicans out of power. Show how much you love George Floyd. Vote these Republican racist politicians, Republicans out of power for George Floyd. If you want to make a real difference for George Floyd, vote and vote these no good Republican politicians out of power. They do not deserve to have it. They deserve to be regular citizens sitting at home with all the wealth that they have stolen from the American people. 
They haven't given us a raise in 40 years. I've been upset. I'm going to march with you, Al, and I want to write the criminal reform bill, Al Sharpton. I want to be a part of it. I don't have to write it, but I want to be a part of it because I've been part of the mistreating and the trampling over justice they have done to me and my family. So I think it's only right that I help write it because my opinions and what I know is wrong with the system because I've been through the system. Some square that's never been through the system don't know what's wrong with it because he been believing the same crooked cops the whole time that we've been telling them these motherfuckers ain't no good. Understand this. So you need somebody to help you write it who know about it and who been a part of the mistreatment of these police officers, federal, state, every goddamn kind of officer has been city of Detroit, state troopers, federal officers. So I deserve to help write this bill in partial name of Brother George because it's written for him and it's a tragedy that we are here and we cannot stop now because Brother George got us on the move and we cannot let his momentum die this time. I will be in Washington, D.C. on the 28th. I hope to see you, Mr. Al Sharpton. I have met you and Jesse Jackson one time in my life. You all were coming into the Vista Hotel to go up to see Farrakhan and me and my crew was on our way out of the Vista Hotel and you and Brother Jesse was coming in. And that's the only time I have ever seen you, Al Sharpen, up close where I seen you about my height and Jesse a big fella. Al a little bitty fella and Jesse Jackson was huge. So the only time I have ever met Al Sharpen was down at the Vista and he was on the move trying to get up to see Farrakhan, him and Brother Jesse. So... Brother Al, please include me on this criminal justice part of this for Brother George Floyd and all of the brothers who have been mistreated, including the fat man, Eddie Jackson, my father, who died in a federal penitentiary with 60 years for a nonviolent crime. 